Hi, I'm Rachel Lynn, and I am on a journey to living a better financial life. I'm also here to give you tips, tricks, inspiration, and motivation along your financial journey. Today, I am going into my April budget and going over everything that I spent in the month of April. I don't have anything else to say, so let's just get into it. <laughs> it's late, I'm tired, and... Um, yeah, let's just get into it. Um, I didn't put any notes in for the entire month of April, so I don't have any notes. I guess if I had a note, I would say, normally I work at Keeneland in April and I make, you know, several hundred extra dollars in this month just working um, on the weekends and I didn't get that. So um, thanks to this whole pandemic thing, I am once again out a whole lot of money because of, because of this. It just sucks all around. So let's, let's just keep going into everything that I spent because yes, that's right. I overspent in just about every single category this month. All right. So first up, I have my other known allocations. I gave $150 to my church. Um, I didn't put anything into savings. I don't normally put anything into savings unless I had pulled something out. Uh, my mortgage was $878.84. My Nana undergrad degree, which my dad helps uh, cover that. He usually pays me in cash. I just make sure that there is at least the minimum payment is transferred from one account to the other. Um, and then I put the extra money that my dad gives directly into that account. So you don't really see that. And then the extra, like I'll like keep that in cash or um, just put it all in there depending on if I owe my dad money or not. So um, anyway, that was $77.58. My graduate loan payment, which I am responsible for, um, that actually does not have a payment right now. It's $0, but if I had a payment, it would be $72.52. I'm really putting that into the other account and that will be paid towards the student loans. I just get the added benefit of no interest and that helps a lot. Then I have my extra savings or debt payments. I didn't make that payment until about May 3rd. <laughs> so um, that is blacked out until the end. I will show you what happened with that at the very end of the video. So you'll need to hold on and, and see if I had to pull money out of that account or if I was actually able to put money in even though I went over budget. Yeah, I went over budget in every category. So We'll just have to wait until the end to see what happened. Scrolling up just a little bit, my sinking funds, I put $250 every month in there. My subscriptions, that is Amazon Prime and um, HP Instant Ink and Netflix and uh, and my Apple storage for my phone. Uh, looks like one of them is not on there. Let's see, I'm gonna click right here and look up here and 529 that is HP Instant Ink 99 cents is my Apple storage 1369 is my Amazon Prime and 948 is my Netflix so no they're all on there I just didn't put one of the dates okay that's what's missing okay we're good <laughs> we're good it's all good I can breathe Phew. all right electricity and gas was $102.77 that's actually down quite a bit um, and I'm hoping that next month it will be down even way more in March um, it was like half off half on and the month of April I think I turned it on for like two days when it snowed randomly in the middle of April it was weird my water bill was not due this month so I don't have anything on there my internet it was uh, $54.99 and then my trash bill, I did not owe anything on that one um, for the month of April. And then my Verizon bill, way down here at the bottom, $52.74. My gasoline allocation, um, I actually went over. I like never go over. Um, but now I have a um, gas-powered lawnmower. And so I actually got gas on April 4th and filled up my two gallon tank as well as my gas tank. And I guess gas that day was really expensive <laughs> because it was $30 and 67 cents. Um, and then I filled up my gas tank again on April 24th and that was $26 and 74 cents. So I guess gas has been up a little bit this last month. Probably if I had to guess and estimate, then it would go up and up and up probably all through the summer because I know in the summer months they like to raise gas prices. I might have to adjust this in the future 
Uh, we'll see how May goes and then see if I need to adjust from there. Um, but I actually overspent by $7.41. Gasoline is one that I like, I can't really prevent overspending in this one because I'm just going to fill up my tank every time I go, no matter what, because like it's not going to go bad. It's not going to be like, it. I'm not going to throw the gasoline out. I don't drive more than I need to. I just, I drive to where I need to go and I, I have to use the gas. My groceries allocation, I went to Kroger on um, April 1st or around there. <laughs> I spent $46.51. I went to Kroger on the 18th and spent $59.75. I was sitting pretty, everything looked good. And then I went to IGA May 3rd. Yes, this is going into my April budget, not May, because I actually spent this money on, I think it was April 30th. So like that, that Friday, it just didn't clear my account until May 3rd. And it was no longer pending. It was a full transaction and I pay my credit cards in a full, not the statement balance, but like everything that is on there because the statement balance is calculated like in the middle of the month and I like to keep everything within one month. So I just make the whole thing <laughs> fresh and start at zero at the beginning of the month and then um, go to the end of the month. So because I purchased this on that Friday, I hadn't um, transferred any money over from one account to the other yet. Um, I actually bought $18.20 at IGA. I bought supplies, not really supplies, I bought some snacks and things for working at Churchill Downs. Um, I was working the Derby and this was Oaks Day and then Derby Day and I bought some stuff for my dad and I to have while we were working. Um, a lot of that stuff was left over. Uh, we were able to get some food while we were out there. Um, so I didn't fully need it, but we did eat some of the snacks. Um, but I also made sure to get things that I would eat um, later. So I overspent $24.46 in groceries. Next up is my teaching allocation. I spent 56 cents on Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, it's weird the way this works. Okay, so when I pay on Teachers Pay Teachers, I am able to um, pay using my credit card rewards. So it goes through PayPal, but my um, credit card is linked to my PayPal account and you are actually able to use those credit card cashback rewards for purchases on PayPal. Um, I'm not sure how long it's been able to do that, at least a few months, maybe even like a whole year or so. But when I pay on te Teachers Pay Teachers, it only pays for like the total before tax. So I always have to pay the tax and then it'll charge my credit card for the tax, which is very annoying because it's like, it wouldn't even be on there. I don't know why I won't take the tax, but it won't take the tax. So I, that's why this is always on here. That's why it's always like this strange amount. So teachers pay teachers 56 cents. Walmart. Um, I don't even know what I got at Walmart. What did I get at Walmart for my kids? Oh, I bought flowers and dirt. Um, we were doing a plant unit and learning about plants. And so we're growing plants. And yeah, that's that's what that is. Um, so that was $13.20. 43 cents on Teachers Pay Teachers. I bought something else. And then I did a spirit wear order and I spent $14.10 on some spirit wear. So I spent $28.29 and I actually went over budget by $3.29. Next up is my spending allocation. I went to Walmart. I like never use my spending money and I decided last month that I was going to start using my spending money. There were some things that I saw at Walmart that I thought would look really nice in the house. Um, and so I bought some things and I spent $86.27 at Walmart. So I was actually over budget by $26.27. Um, actually, it wasn't a whole lot of decorative stuff. There's a little bit of that. What I bought was like, I, well, I ha already had some hedge clippers clippers, but I bought a smaller kind of hedge clippers that look like more like scissors for um, like fine tuning my bushes that I have out front. And then I bought some um, gardening gloves for the, they're like 
they're kind of like evergreen trees, but they're along with the bushes and they're really, really pokey. And so when I trimmed one of them back, like I was trying to like clear away the branches, it was like, it hurt to touch them. And so, um, so I bought some gardening gloves for that. Um, and then I feel like I got some, some other kind of gardening tool, but I don't remember what I got. Next up is my restaurant allocation and you can see where, uh, yeah, this was a problem. Um, Taco Bell, I spent $5.93 on the first. Cracker Barrel, $12 on the second. Taco Bell, $5.82 on the 17th. Chick-fil-A, $7.16 on the 24th. Um, Culver's, $11.86 on the 24th. Taco Bell, $7.20 on the 26th. Chick-fil-A, $7.16 on the 28th. McDonald's, this is where we're getting to um, actually the last, like the last day in April and maybe even um, May 1st. So McDonald's, May 1st, 8.03. McDonald's on May 3rd, which actually I think that was really either May May 1st as well, or May 2nd. I spent $8.78. So my total was $73.94. I went over budget by $33.94. I did not realize how much I ate out in the month of um, April. I just did not, I just did not pay attention. It didn't seem like I ate out a lot. Um, here I went out on the 1st and the 2nd, and then like here it is like 15 days later. So like half the month later and then all of a sudden I'm, I'm eating out a lot. Okay, so these days in here with um, Chick-fil-A, Culver's and Taco Bell and Chick-fil-A on these days right here, my dad was in the hospital. So that's, I think that's what happened there. Um, my dad was in the hospital for about three or four days. Um, we're still not entirely sure uh, what is going on with him. He has another doctor that he has to go see. That's why I was eating out so much. And then these two days technically should go in my May budget, but I'm not putting them in there because I've already paid that credit card bill. And so it, it got lumped in with April. Um, and this is like th these two days right here. This is... Um, to or from a working at Churchill Downs. This is actually why I upped my restaurant budget for May because I knew I'd be working at Churchill Downs and wanted to like spend a little bit more money on those days. And I won't be working very many other days in May. So I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'll be way under budget for my restaurants in May. We'll, we'll, we'll just see what happens there. So I was, uh, yeah, I think I already went over this, but I was, um, $33 and 94 cents over my household budget. This is the one allocation that I did not go over budget. Um, I spent $42.75 at Walmart. This was for cleaning supplies and all those different household things that I need. Um, so I actually had $7.25 left over. Now let's go and look at my sinking funds because I also spent a bit of money from there. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but it is raining really, really hard right now. It is pouring outside. So I'm sorry if you can hear that, um, but we're going to keep on going. On April 9th, I spent $40 at Cast Iron Steakhouse. Um, this is actually all the way in Indiana. And we went to celebrate my dad's birthday and we had dinner with some friends and, uh, or my dad's friends. <laughs> Anyway, um, and I paid for my own dinner. Somebody else that we were with paid for my dad, so um, I didn't have to pay for him, but I went all out. I, I bought, you know, a nice steak. I didn't buy him any gifts or anything like that. He, there's, I don't think there's anything that he really wanted, and he knows that I just bought a house, um, and so I instead sporged on a meal, eating out with my dad and, and not worrying about what I spent my money on. On April 11th, I spent $116.59. This came from my Rachel Lynn business sinking fund. Um, this was for a new external hard drive that I needed. Still haven't opened it actually, but um, getting really close to. And then on April 11th, from my house sinking fund, I spent $40.52. I'm not sure if you can see those up here or if it'll be cut off. I spent money on scrub brushes 
floor tiles for um, my little entrance area and then air freshener refills. Then on the 16th, I spent $138.87 also from my house sinking fund. I bought more floor tiles because apparently what I bought is not enough to cover the front entrance. Um, I plan on doing a whole video on that as part of my living room makeover series. So you'll have to look out for that. I haven't done it yet. So it'll be coming soon. I also bought a new living room rug. This one, I spent some time looking carefully for a rug. Now I know I have carpet, um, but according to some design videos I've seen on YouTube, it's a little bit more appropriate to put carpet um, or a rug on top of carpet. Um, it's not unheard of. And my carpet is not in the best shape. There's this giant stain right in the middle of the living room floor. And I don't plan on replacing the carpet anytime soon. Um, or well, I, I plan on getting um, not hardwood, but like something that looks like hardwood. I have to do my research on what type of material it will be, but it will be some kind of hard surface floor is what I plan to replace the carpet with, but I don't plan to do that anytime soon. So I thought I'm gonna get a rug that I really, really like that I can put over the carpet for now to hide this really nasty looking stain, but it will be a rug that will go in my living room once I replace the flooring as well. So that's the plan that this rug will last that long. Next item is I uh, went to Wild Eggs. This came from my family time sinking fund. I paid for breakfast for both myself and my Aunt Doris. And we went together after church one morning and I spent $36.71. And then afterwards, uh, we actually went to Burke's. I thought it was Marshall's but I guess like it changed its name or it was bought out or something, but it's exactly like a Marshall's or TJ Maxx, but it's called Burks. And um, I spent $51.91 on some things that I found for around the house. And I'm really excited to put those things up too. I just have not had time to put those things up. And then of course my income, I only made my paychecks. That was it. It was 11.05. 84 both times I made $2,211.68. So now let's go over everything recap real quick before I reveal if I was able to put money into my extra savings or if I had to pull money from my savings because I was over budget in just about every category. Um, so my church was right on target, mortgage right on target, Nelnet and Navient, my um, grad loans right on target. Uh, those things pretty much always are. That's why they're at the top of the list. Uh, then we're getting into the other ones. So my sinking funds right on target and subscriptions right on target. Electricity and gas was over budget by $2.77. I'm not worried about that actually. Um, water well, it's on target when you don't have a bill in that month. Um, my internet right on target and then my trash right on target. Verizon, I was actually under budget by $1.26. So it's been a little bit cheaper lately. So I'm not going to complain about that at all. My gasoline was over budget by $7.41. My grocery, $24.46. My household, the only one I did not go over budget, $7.25 I had left. My teaching budget, I was over budget by $3.29. Spending was over budget by $26.27. And then my restaurant budget was over budget by $33.94. So let's look and see what I actually was able to do. I was able to put one $129.67 into my extra savings for my new windows and for house updates and repairs and those kinds of things. So my planned amount that I wanted to put in there was $219.30. Of course, I didn't reach that. I was almost $100 away. I was actually $89.63 away from meeting that goal because I was over budget. But the good news is I still have money going into savings. I didn't pull anything out. So that is really, really, really good news. So that's it. That is my budget. Um, I did want to point out that um, even though I am putting money from my income into my sinking funds, 
I did spend more money from my sinking funds than is going in this month. So I don't think I went over the total, but I spent $424.60 from my sinking funds. I plan on um, maybe next week telling you where my sinking funds stand. I don't know that I'm going to do this every single month, but I do want to do this um, for at least this month because I did it last time and then I had a big, huge financial mistake because I just was not paying attention when I was transferring money over and just wasn't thinking. And thankfully, a huge thousand dollar mistake in my favor. Well, I didn't really like gain a thousand dollars, but it feels like I gained a thousand dollars because instead of it just sitting in one account doing absolutely nothing, it's now in my sinking funds, earning interest and actually working towards certain things in my sinking buttons. Um, you know, I, I, I reallocated money. So I wanted to kind of go over that, but I don't want to put that in this video because I don't want it to be too long. So look forward to that. Make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss that video. And then of course, you know, I'm a teacher. It's in my budget. I talk about it all the time. Um, just in case you don't know, I have started a new channel all about teaching and um, just what I'm doing as a teacher. And so if you are interested in that, if you're a teacher, if you know a teacher, if you want to know what I do as a teacher, um, then you can go and follow that channel. Um, I will link that down below and you can go and check that out. Um, I have a few videos up there already. So um, that is fully it. And I will see you next time when I go over my sinking funds. Then I also have lots more videos planned for you. And um, I'm really looking forward to the summer. Um, I'm really going to miss my class. I love my classes here. I have the best class. Really, 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 really love my class. But I'm also really looking forward to the summer where I don't have to worry about planning and I don't have to worry about getting up super early in the morning. And oh, it'll be nice. So I've got lots of content planned for you for this coming summer. So look forward to that. And that's it for now. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.